Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on installing iLife version 08 on a um, Mac system that has uh, Snow Leopard installed. Um, why install iLife 08? Basically uh, because it's a free software bundle that includes um, software packages like iMovie, iPhoto, iDVD, GarageBand, so it's uh, it's free and that gives us very handy to have around. Uh, however, um, iLife 08 comes with a Leopard, not, not Snow Leopard and um, you can of course install the new version of iLife, however you have to pay for it in the um, the App Store and many people uh, don't want to do that so they want to just use uh, the old version and maybe then upgrade to the new one. I don't know if that costs any money whatever. I have never upgraded it so I just, this is just a tutorial about installing um, IF08 on Snow Leopard. Um, now since iLife uh, comes bundled with a Leopard many people ask uh, do you have to install first Leopard on your Mac system then install iLife08 and then upgrade to Snow Leopard. Um, no, you don't. You don't need to do that. So uh, that, that's first of all. You can, you can just install Snow uh, Leopard and just install Ala Serrate. However, I have uh, two installation discs here. This is uh, installation disc uh, one. That is uh, for Leopard for a MacBook Pro. And I have here installation disc version number two which contains the uh, iLife uh, software uh, installation and as you can see this uh, uh, these DVDs are for MacBook Pro and I'm installing it on a Mac Pro and when you try to do that you run into problems a few actually so um, I'm just gonna show you how to get around these problems okay as soon as we have mounted um, Mac OS X uh, installation disk one as you can see here there it is. We get um, this little window here which says basically that you can install Mac OS X uh, and you can install the bundle software only. So when you hit this one, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, uh, you immediately get a warning on the system uh, and it says this software cannot be installed on this computer. Uh, this, this is a Dutch version of the Mac, so I just have to translate a little bit for you. Uh, so I hope you can follow uh, my tutorial uh, uh, as good as possible. So how do we get around this first problem here? Well, when we close it, um, it's pretty simple actually to get around this. Uh, first of all, what you need to do is that we need to copy uh, this installation bundle uh, to this package to our Mac system and alter uh, the content of this package. So how? Do we do that on the first? Okay, so we go to uh, Spotlight and we uh, enter Terminal, which I already had there, but I'm going to show you. Terminal, alright. Now we go to the Terminal, zoom into the Terminal, and we have to copy first. Just a little bit down, a little bit up. Okay, show you good. Here we go. Okay. Uh, we have to no, uh, just a little bit there. Thank you. Okay, we have to copy first this installation bundle. So how do we do it? When we um, go to the uh, the volumes directory, do a tap to complete it automatically. We do a tap tap to see the volumes. We see there is a Mac OS X installation disk one. So we need to go there. So we do a Mac. Then there is a space, as you can see, so uh, when we do space tab we get nothing, so uh, delete do a uh, backslash space tab and it completes it. Then we go to system, uh, installation, packages, okay, enter, we do an ls for a drive, uh, for a directory listing, and we can see in a directory listing there is a bundled software package right there and that's the one we need to copy to our system so just getting down here when we do is CP for copy dash capital R uh, bundled software now you see there is a forward slash at the end you need to delete it because otherwise you're gonna copy the content of the package not the package itself 
So we do a space, and then we do a, I think it's called a tilde, forward slash desktop, and we do enter. And when we done enter, we see that the battle software package is actually copied right there. Okay, so that's the one we need to alter. I'm just gonna exit uh, my terminal, close it, command Q, and I'm going to go to my bundle software, hit the right mouse button and say show content. Okay, here it is, there's the content. So going there. Now when we look at the content of this uh, software, we see that we have a couple of files and a directory. Bundle software .dist, info .list, and resources. Now first we need to change the bundle software .dist. We need to tell this, these files in this package that we are on a Mac Pro system, not a MacBook Pro system. Now, before we uh, do that, we need first to check which system that we actually have. So we go to the Apple logo at the top of the screen about this Mac. Here we get the information. We say more info and we see there is a model identifier right here which says Mac Pro 3.1. This is the system I'm on. So you have to check it yourself what your own model, model identifier for your system is. So Mac Pro 3.1. This is very important information. We need to add this information to the file. So close this one. We go back to the content. Now, first of all, we're going to say the bundle software need to change. Right mouse button, open with, and we choose other. And then we're going to choose right here a T for text editor. Sorry, it's not on there. T for text editor, enter. And we are in the text editor. OK. We need to look for a variable here, and I'm just going to scroll out and show you how to do that with the find. Uh, so we do a command F. Okay, here we are. So zooming into the finder, and we have to fill in here var uh, H W B E sub oh, support machines when we hit enter we're gonna see that he finds a, a, a that certain text here in the file and you can see that behind this text there is uh, the info for the system which is included in this file is Mac Pro, Pro 4.1 but we are on a Mac Pro 3.1, so now we can do two things. I can I can change this, so I can say okay, get rid of the book and get change to the, the 443. That that's one way. You can also add this information. So when you just come on Z Z Z Z Z Z Z, okay, that's back. We can also do a um, uh, uh, quotation mark Mac Pro. 3 comma 1 quotation mark closing and add a comma so that that way you can tell I have a MacBook Mac Pro 3 comma 1 and a MacBook Pro 4 comma 1 so you can add or change it it's either way you want now we're gonna close this file say save and next thing we have to do is we have to change this info list so open with a text editor there it is when we scroll down in this file a little bit we see here there is a key test object and there is a string called macbook pro 4.1 now we have to change this we cannot add mac pro 3.1 to this line so we just have to change this one so go back to 3.1 mac pro 3.1 close this file save it all right and we can close the content folder here and we are basically done for this part. Okay, now, before we uh, go on, we have to insert, of course, installation disk 2, uh, because we needed to actually install the bundle. Okay, so 